Hi everybody. Who's this? It's baby Milo. Hello. So hello. Um welcome back to my channel, I suppose. Um it's been quite a few weeks since I've managed to get a video up, but as you can see, we now have a baby. And he's almost eight weeks old. Um, and I thought I would just come on and make a little video about how we've been getting on with breastfeeding, um, where we're at in our journey, uh, where we're going to progress from here and just how, it, how it's been going in general. Um, so yeah, as I said, he's eight weeks old and we have been exclusively breastfeeding, haven't we? And we've been really, really lucky um, in that Milo's taken really well to breastfeeding. His latch was pretty awesome from the beginning, although it's not been perfect throughout the whole eight weeks. Obviously there are bumps in the road, that kind of thing. But he latched on really well um, from the day he was born. Obviously with breastfeeding, it's not like a regular thing. If anything, it's very regular. Um, you know, these babies feed on demand, so we're not in any kind of routine with it yet, but we've had good stints where he's gone Know, three to four hours but there's been periods where he's gone every half an hour but then wants to feed for an hour so it can be quite intense in terms of actually fitting in breastfeeding that's probably what i found most difficult probably because um we've been in a family of four bubble you know for so long teddy is or was three years and four months exactly when he was born um, and that's a bigger age gap than I've got between Toby and Teddy, which is 20 months. Um, and I think we've just spent so much time together, you know, progressing from newborn to toddler to little boy. I actually forgot how hard and demanding having a newborn can be. And then you kind of wonder why you've done it all again, but then you get this cutie and you realize why you did it all again because you get babies like this it's now getting to the point where we are thinking of introducing uh, a bottle whether that's of expressed milk from me or whether that's formula you know we're just doing what's right for us at the moment and it's definitely the right time for me to just get a bit of time back to myself just having that one feed where you know Jamie's doing it or his nan and pop are doing it wow okay so yeah <laughs> Milo making your mark on the video I'm not sure if you heard that but it was huge also I just think it's going to be really nice for the boys to be able to get involved because even though they're very aware that, you know, his milk comes from me and where it comes from. There's not really much chance for them to get involved with that. And they just love him so much, don't they? Toby especially just wants to be really hands on with him. So I found that's gonna be, or well, that is, you know, quite a natural progression for us. I don't feel pressured. I don't feel like it's something that I have to do. I don't feel like I've been influenced, you know, by other people. This is just what's right for us. And it's kind of similar to what I did with Toby and Teddy anyway. I exclusively breastfed them for a few weeks and then introduced bottles. Just to, um, I mean, back then it was about going back to work really and just making sure that they would take a bottle. Because that's one thing I was worried about, that they would just get so used to being on the breast that they would never take a bottle. But by introducing it early, they just got used to the tea and all that kind of stuff. So, obviously our journey hasn't been without bumps. There are, we have, even though we had an awesome latch um, when he was born, there have been times where he's just, you know, nipple fed. That's really painful. Um, luckily it didn't get to the point of cracked and bleeding nipples. Thank God. We have also introduced dummies. Um, just because... Uh, there were points where he was just sucking for comfort and that is absolutely fine and I'm more than happy for him to do that but not at the expense of 
losing time with my other two children when I know that he'll be quite happy with a dummy. Um, I don't mind sitting in the evenings and him, you know, comforting from me and that kind of stuff. But when I've got the other two boys at home and they're, you know, they feel like they've been vying for attention um, for quite a while. I don't think it's fair for me to just sit there because I'm happy to do it. I would rather him just have the dummy for a little while, be away from me, you know, sitting in the chair or on the play mat or whatever. Um, while I can spend time with my other two children, I think it, that's been really important for us to try and not make them feel pushed out and like they're not a priority because they are just as much of a priority as he is. Obviously he gets first dibs if it's feeding time, but otherwise it's an even playing field and they need the attention from us as well. This time I have been really, really lucky in that I've been able to do lots of expressing, um, which is something that I tried with both Toby and Teddy and just every time it was just minimal amounts and it was quite it was like heartbreaking because you want you want to breastfeed via a bottle and you want your partner to get involved but when you are exclusively breastfeeding and you're not at the stage where you're introducing formula um if you're even going to do that then to only be able to pump out like an ounce or two is kind of like ugh, especially when you've been trying to go at it for like half an hour 45 minutes um, but this time uh, I have been very, very lucky to get the new Lansano compact pump, which has been an absolute godsend. It is amazing. It's the best pump I've ever used. Um, and that's coming from someone who actually used a hospital grade pump um, a few days ago. It, I mean, it was... I can't say that that was any better than the one that I've got here because the one that I've got here is just brilliant and it's managed to draw out so much of so much more of my supply than I've ever been able to draw out before which I am so pleased about because it's meant that I have been able to give Jamie that time with Milo and it's meant that I've been able to put just like a little mini stash in the freezer for the times that we might need it. Um, we're actually going out for a meal on Friday night and we're leaving all three boys with the grandparents. So yeah, that's our breastfeeding journey so far. We are obviously going to continue, um, but we are going to start introducing more bottles more regularly, just, you know, just so that we can try and establish A, a bit more of a routine, be um, better bonding between Milo and Jamie and the boys, um, but also just to get him used to not feeding from me constantly, if that makes sense. He's gone to sleep now. So the next thing I just wanna go through is just kind of some of the biggest questions that I've been asked um, on social media from people who are either first time breastfeeding mums or who are um, breastfeeding again, but are finding that their journey is a little bit different. So it's almost like being a first time breastfeeding mum again. I found like this time, even though I had the knowledge of what to do, we've still had bumps in the road. So nothing is ever perfect. So the first question that I've had is, when will my milk come in? So everyone is different. Um, mine came in with Teddy on probably day three with him it was day four um, your body just might take a little bit more adjusting and you'll know when your milk comes in because your boobs will feel fuller you'll see the transition um, of it going from like a goldeny cream I suppose to it's much more watery, it's much more white. And I tend to look for signs of that at the side of the mouth when they're feeding. So you'll know when it's starting to change. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you know when your milk's come in really. Uh, your boobs will be sore and huge. The second question is, what is let down? 
So I talk quite a lot about my letdown on social media. My letdown is ferocious. It really, really is. Um, and letdown basically is so you could be feeding on one side and it's just, it feels like pins and needles or like around your boob. It feels like someone's squeezing and giving you pins and needles and it just means that baby feeding has set off some hormones and everything's kind of being stimulated to release milk. So a letdown is basically just the release of milk. So it feels like someone's squeezing and you'll just get the, well for me it's just like a torrent, an absolute torrent um, of milk and poor Milo just gets the biggest milk facial sometimes, poor kid. I'm surprised I haven't drowned him yet because it just there's so much that comes out at once that I have to he will pull away um, until it's a bit more of a regular flow that he can regulate I suppose so yeah that is let down um, some people don't have it at all other people have it on a very intense level like me um, and others will just get like a minimal let down but what people tend to do if they can is catch the letdown so you can get these silicon pumps there are the ones by nature bond or by hacker or even if you've just got an empty sterile bottle that you're going to feed from in future then just when baby pulls away have it to hand and either stick it under and just collect all the milk because otherwise it just goes into your breast pad and it's such a waste um because that means you have to use another breast pad as well um, or you can just stick like a pump on and just before he even starts feeding just get that first bit off third question can you overfeed a breastfed baby no you can't um, not in my opinion anyway just because your breast milk is produced on a supply and demand basis it will only supply what your baby demands. So in my experience, they will take exactly what they need um, to satiate their hunger, um, or to make them feel comfortable, to fill their belly, whatever. Um, they won't take more than they need, really. Which is why it's so hard sometimes to know, you know, if you're expressing, and say you get two ounces one time and five ounces the other, which has happened to me on many occasions with this breastfeeding journey in particular, um, it's kind of like, well, which do they need? Do they need five ounces or do they need two ounces? So I try and try to split it up into even um, rations, if you like, so that if he has, you know, I'll say, say for example, I'll just put the five and two together, that's seven ounces um, in total, and I'll try and split it into fours. So the next time I'll put like an extra ounce in this and, you know, carry it on. Um, and offer him four ounces but if you haven't frozen it then you are able to use it over the course of however many days if it's at room temperature obviously if you've heated it up it's a totally different story but then we're going into how to store breast milk when to use it after it's been stored and that kind of thing and I am absolutely no expert on that so quite happy for you to research that one yourself So someone else asked me, what does it feel like to breastfeed? And it's actually really difficult to answer because I don't, I can't think of anything that's similar. It's really, really bizarre. It's kind of like someone is sucking, but also like flicking and squeezing your boob. That's kind of the only way I can describe it. Um, like I said earlier, it shouldn't feel uncomfortable and it shouldn't be painful. Finally, the last question I've been asked is, what products am I using to breastfeed, like to help me with my breastfeeding journey this time? So the first one is, I'll just get it. Okay, so I'm back minus a baby, um, but with pump. So this is the Lansano compact pump um it's a very you know standard breast pump design um and it comes with a little compact i'm all plugged in um just like a little power unit 
with your suction wire and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the main thing I love about it is this kind of there. So if you've got like a portable charger and it's got this ending on it, you can take it and use it with your pump. So obviously that goes into the wall here anyway. That goes into the unit. This attaches to the pump. The pump goes on the boob and away you go. You can adjust. It can go from like the letdown phase to like a really good sucking phase and everything just fits so well. And that's the one I actually took to the hairdressers. So I've also been using the Lansano bottles that came, uh, there was one that came with it just to, for obviously storage, but I've also managed to get a hold of a couple of other ones and they have been brilliant. We actually tried the Tommy Tippy Closer to Nature ones because that's what I used with Toby and Teddy. But with Milo, they just seem to be so wide on his mouth. So the Lansano ones, they're a lot more flexible. They're like a little bit thinner, just a tiny little bit longer as well and he has taken so well to them. So we are gonna be sticking with the Land Snow bottles as well. Um, whereas previously I had committed to Tommy Tippy. Um, so I now have a box of those bottles upstairs that probably won't get used, and, but that's fine. The other thing that I've been using breast pad wise are again Land Snow. I find that they are just a little bit thicker. They are just that little bit softer and they have got, um, they're sticky on two, on two sides so that's pump bottles and breast pads what else have i been using oh i know those um when i started to get the mastitis or what i thought was going to be the onset of mastitis um the lansano therapels they are absolutely amazing and i'm back with the baby but um yeah so cold when you're engorged of what they were like a little lifesaver and when they're warmed up they are just so good for relieving any pain and hot spots um, that you can get from like your block ducts and stuff. So it just encourages your milk to flow that little bit easier. It'll just, it, it just kind of relaxes your boob basically. Um, so yeah, they have been amazing. Um, they were also amazing in the summer for when I was hot and pregnant. I used them then as well. Not necessarily on my boobs, but just they held the, the cold so well. Oh, it's gone to sleep. So yeah, that is everything from us. That's our breastfeeding journey. Those are just some really simple questions answered and the products that I've been using so far. So from me and Milo, we'll see you next time. Hopefully when he's a little bit more settled.